Well, good afternoon, and thank all of you for joining us at the Academy at Shawnee today. I always love to come to this school. The architecture in this school is amazing, but I always think that the students at Shawnee are even more amazing than the building itself. Shawnee may be home to an aviation program where students really do learn to fly. But the classrooms here at Shawnee and throughout JCPS are really the center of the universe. And we have all traveled to Shawnee today to learn about a new dropout prevention program that began this week. While many Shawnee high school students are earning their pilot's licenses, working on experiments that will be flown actually into space, or preparing themselves to attend the US Naval Academy, we also have some students who are at risk of dropping out. Dropping out is not acceptable for any JCPS student. Our mission is to ensure that every student has both the class time and the support that they need to graduate prepared to reach their full potential and to contribute to our society throughout life. And the Jobs for Kentucky Graduates program will officially launch today at Shawnee as one of the more important tools in our tool belt to help us do exactly that. JCPS is intentional about its efforts to prevent dropouts. We identify students at risk of not completing school, and then we work individually with them to resolve any issues that might keep them from graduating. We know that the issues are often arise outside of our buildings, but we also recognize that we can't ignore issues. We must work with students to foster resilience, empower them to persevere, and provide what each student needs to be successful. The team at Shawnee believes in that mission. They are committed to the school and to the students here. I'd like to believe that's part of why this school was chosen for the Jobs for Kentucky Graduates program. And the efforts at the school at the student level and at the district level are making a difference. The dropout rate at Shawnee has declined from 10% in 2008 to only 3.3% in 2014. Still, just 72% of Shawnee students graduated on time, that's within four years, last year. While that rate is up over the last past two years, Shawnee teachers, staff, and students are committed to doing even better than that. And that's why we're here today. So before I introduce Mayor Fisher, let me offer a heartfelt thank you to the partners who are making this new program possible. Please join me in thanking Sean Montgomery, the CFO and co-founder of Integrity Staffing Solutions, who is providing the bulk of the funding for this new program at Shawnee. Larry Caruso, President of Jobs for Kentucky Graduates. Janelle DeRay, Vice President of Job for America's Graduates. I'd also, of course, like to acknowledge Principal Vanita Benbow, who will ensure her team works closely with JKG to guide students throughout the program to graduation and beyond. And we're so fortunate to have our board member uh, of this district, Diane Porter, who's the board member for District 1. She is everywhere in District 1 and certainly loves Shawnee. So thank you, Diane. And now I'd also like to thank Mayor Fisher for being here. He is an untiring supporter of JCPS schools and believes in education. We greatly appreciate that he puts a priority on joining us so often at important JCPS events like the one today. His commitment is important to our success. So I'd like to introduce to you my mayor, our mayor, the mayor of Louisville, Greg Fisher. Thank you, Dr. Hargens, and it's great to see everybody today. Congratulations for getting this program. I mean, what a wonderful addition to uh, the toolbox for success that you guys have here at Shawnee and beyond, and it's a big deal. Uh, it's exciting to announce Kentucky graduates, or jobs for Kentucky graduates to Louisville couldn't fit more perfectly with what our strategy is for the city. So obviously what we want to make sure, and I'll primarily be speaking to our young leaders over here, is that all of you all graduate uh, college and career ready. 
so that you can do whatever it is that you want to do with your life. And it's a, it's a good, exciting run that you're about ready to go on here as you leave high school. And we want to make sure that you've got tools to be ready. So when people like Integrity Staffing and GE say we want to help, that's pretty good. Right? They're just stepping up and saying we want everybody in our community to be everything that they can be. So what we have in the city is something called our Cradle to Career Lifelong Learning System. You all, I know you're aware that it's a, you've got several stages that are important. We want to make sure all the kids are ready for kindergarten. And right now, some kids show up three years behind other kids at the age of six in kindergarten. And, they, and it's tough for those kids to catch up. So we want to make sure everybody's ready for kindergarten, have all kind of programs in, in place for that. Then we want to make sure people get through K to 12, so where you guys are at right now, college and career ready so that you can make the most of your life. And then after K to 12, we want to make sure that you get a degree, either a four-year degree, two-year degree, military service, an apprenticeship, something that when somebody looks at hiring you says, I have a skill that's unique to me that will add val value to you that I can make a good living on. And that's a lot what today is about. And then the fourth sector, we just call it 21st century careers. What's a job that's going to have good longevity into the future that hopefully fits with something that you're joyful about doing? Let's say it's technology. Let's say it's engineering. I know a lot of folks here are interested in, in aeronautics. That's another area like that. And if you can line up that joy that you have with an education, you're going to have a good job and be able to support your family all along the way. So that, in uh, no small part, is what our program is here uh, it, what it's about here today is making sure that our young adults have the skills that they need to thrive in the 21st century. And it's just a fact of life that uh, some people face more serious challenges to that kind of success uh, than others. And what I like about the program that's being introduced, introduced today, it's a very uh, relational type of approach toward developing our students. And by that, I mean it combines real-world, project-based instructional methods with a personal connection. It means all the difference in the world when you have somebody that's working with you, that you feel like you can talk to, that you can feel like you can ask for help, and they're going to understand what a difference uh, they can make in your life. And somebody, frankly, that's some there just that somebody's there for you saying, I have high expectations for you. I just met a bunch of you all. And when I walked in here, a bunch of you all are in the AP English class as, as well. So I think it's fair to say that you all can do whatever it is you set your mind out to do. And don't let anybody tell you that, uh, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. Have high expectations for yourself. And surround yourself with people that have high expectations for yourself. And as long as you have the discipline and the support, you will reach those high expectations. There's an additional part of this program that's very attractive, and that's that you have mentors that will continue to work with some of our students for 12 months after high school graduation to help in that critical time period to say, how are you going to transition after high school? Is it going to be post-secondary education? Is it going to be the military? Is it going to be a career? But having somebody to help you through that phase is extraordinary again. So what a great opportunity for the kids that are in this program. Uh, one of our city's values is compassion. And when we talk about compassion in Louisville, what we mean is respect for all of our citizens so that their human potential is flourishing and thriving. Everybody's got great potential. And compassion means we want to bring that out in everybody. So that means everybody's got to help. What we're seeing here today uh, with businesses like Integrity Staffing is a company that believes in compassion. And they're trying to lift everybody up and give everybody a chance. And I know, and I think we're going to hear from one of our graduates here soon, that the jobs for Kentucky graduates are going to help people achieve that goal as well. So in closing, I just want to thank Integrity Staffing Solutions and GE for really stepping up for the financial backing of this worthy endeavor. Uh, the government doesn't have all the money in the world. It's necessary that we've got great private partners like you guys to get things done. So thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. Now I'd like to introduce Janelle DeRay, who is Vice President with Jobs for America's Graduates. Welcome. 
Hello, everyone. And thank you for being here today. My name is Janelle Duray. I'm the Vice President of Jobs for America's Graduates, or better known as JAG. Our president and co-founder, Ken Smith, couldn't be here today, but he does send his regards, and he's just as excited as we are about launching, this, launching JAG in Shawnee. Before I share a little bit more about our organization, I wanted to take some time to thank all of the folks that made today happen. First, Mayor Fisher, thank you for being here today and for your support of Louisville's future. Integrity Staffing Solutions, thank you for your support and your commitment of $30,000 to bring JKG to the Academy at Shawnee. Thank you, Sean Montgomery, co-founder and CFO, um, your CEO, Todd Babel, who I know is a huge supporter as well, and your colleagues, Jason Lockwood, who serves on the JKG board, and Jonathan Barnes, who is my main point of contact. We're delighted with our growing partnership, and we are so appreciative of this investment. Thank you to GE, who committed $5,000 to make this partnership happen as well. And at the national level, GE provides about $100,000 a year to support the JAG program across the nation. Dr. Hargens, Assistant Superintendent Dennis, Principal Benbo, thank you for working with Larry Caruso, our JKG president, to forge this partnership and make it happen. We're looking forward to working with the promising students of this high school to make sure that we can provide them pathways that lead to successful uh, academic and careers. Before I introduce the next speaker, I wanted to give you all a snapshot of JAG. We were founded 35 years ago in the state of Delaware. We're now in 32 states across 1,000 communities. And last year, we celebrated our 1 millionth student enrolling in the program. Across those 1,000 communities and 1 million students later, across rural Native American reservations in South Dakota and Montana to the inner cities of Detroit and Chicago, JAG consistently delivers results. 90% of our students graduate from high school and 80% of them are employed, in, or are employed in college or some combination of those two a full 12 months after they've left high school. Their full-time employment rate is triple of that of students who are peers that did not enroll in the program and they are twice as likely to move on to college after graduation. Therefore, we are ecstatic to be working with you all. We're ecstatic to be here and bring a brand new roster of JKG students. And students that will prove to their peers and teachers that you are leaders. Throughout the course of this school year, you'll better understand JKG. And you'll understand that whatever challenges you face, whatever comes your way, you'll overcome them. And you'll come out stronger and better prepared for your personal future afterwards. You may not be fully aware of the potential that you hold but through hard work, as the mayor said, dedication, and what we hope is the wonderful support, which I am assured it is, of your JKG specialist, you'll realize all that potential that you hold and what the future holds for you. With that, I would like to introduce Sean Montgomery. Sean and his team have been staunch supporters of JAG, as I mentioned. And I remember when we first forged this partnership, Jonathan called me up and he said, I found you online, Google or something. And it seems to make, you seem to be doing what we really are looking for, which is finding dedicated young people who are ready to work and eager to enter the workforce and be, be stellar employees and, and look at post-secondary education as an option as well. And I told Jonathan, well, then you, you have to meet the JAG kids. Since then, they've been incredibly supportive. Uh, we have, uh, Sean serves on our Jobs for Delaware Graduates Board. Um, we have representation on the JKG Board and we're looking to partner in other places across the country. So with that, thank you, Sean. And let's bring him on up here. And again, let's please give him a round of applause. Thank you, Janelle, Mayor Fisher, Superintendent Hargens, and Mr. Caruso. It's an honor and a privilege to be here with you today as we announce the beginning of a new milestone for the Academy at Shawnee, the launch of Shawnee's very own Jobs for Kentucky Graduates program. This is an exciting occasion for Integrity Staffing and our team, for our associates, our clients, and the community of Louisville, and especially for the students for whom this program is specifically designed for. Partnerships like these help us to drive our mission 
of generating opportunities for people to exceed their own expectations and to further the advance careers and communities. We believe that when our associates have a successful experience on the job, then our clients meet their goals. They keep hiring new people, and they move the local community forward. Part of moving the local community forward is investing in the talents of our students. These students are the future of Louisville, of the county of Jefferson, and of the state of Kentucky. If we can help make a difference in the lives of these students, even a small one, then we achieve our mission of driving our communities forward. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Larry Caruso, President of Jobs for Kentucky Graduates. Thank you, Sean. Uh, I look forward to a very long relationship between Integrity Staffing and Jobs for Kentucky's graduates. I also want to thank Pam Evans from GE Appliances. As Janelle indicated, GE has been a big supporter of the National JAG organization for going on 30 years right now, and we're also very pleased that GE Appliances is supporting JAG locally. I want to talk a little bit about my history with the Jobs for America's graduates and Jobs for Kentucky's graduates program. In 2004, when I was working at GE, the Vice President of Human Resources came up to me and said, I want you to serve on the Jobs for America's Graduates Board. And I said, what is Jobs for America's Graduates? And he said, I would like you to go to Washington. They're having their National Student Leader uh, Awards event and find out for yourself what Jobs for America's Graduates is all about. So in 2000, December of 2004, I went down to Washington, D.C. And at that point, the NSLA, as they call it, had about 400 students who were involved in it. This December, we're going to have 750 students involved in it. Hopefully next December, we'll have more and we'll have a, a representation from Shawnee as well. When I went down there, uh, I was... I, I can't tell you how impressed I was with the organization, but, but my memory is this thin woman student was asked to come up and give a testimonial. And so she was walking up to the stage in a Washington ballroom in front of 600 kids, and she was scared to death. I mean, she was literally shaking. And she got up to the podium, and she's hanging on to the podium for all she's worth. And the first words out of her mouth were, Three and a half years ago, on the day that I graduated from junior high school, I was raped in the bathroom. So at that point in time, you could hear a pin drop. There was not a sound in this ballroom. And if you've ever been to one of these events, there's waiters and waitresses running around. There's people drinking their coffee, eating their dessert. You can hear the forks clinking on the glasses. Nothing. The next words out of her mouth were, two weeks later, my father was shot and killed by his girlfriend. At that point in time, she had everybody's rapt attention. I mean, people put down their Blackberries at the time. I think it was pre-iPhones. Everybody was paying attention to her. And she said, I didn't know whether I wanted to live or whether I wanted to die. Going to school and getting a high school diploma was the furthest thing from my mind. And then she pointed over to the table and she said, but I ran into Ms. and I can't remember the specialist's name or the teacher's name, and she said, she saved my life. My freshman year in high school, I missed 60 days. I was absent or truant 60 days over the course of my freshman year. And I stand before, and then she stood up as tall and proud, and she said, today, and I, I get emotional telling the story, and I've told the story a hundred times. She said, today I stand before you I'm an honor student at whatever the high school's name was in Florida. I'm going to graduate in May. I've been accepted to Florida State University. I'm going to get a degree in education. And then I'm going on to get a, a, a master's degree in guidance. And I'm going to do for hundreds of students what she did for me. So at that point in time, there wasn't a dry eye in the house, and I was hooked. I said, what can I do for JAG? It was an amazing, amazing experience for me, and it, 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 it's just emblematic of what this program can do for children. 
Um, as you heard from, from Janelle, JAG is a phenomenal program with a 35-year track record of success. In Kentucky, we have had the JKG program since 1993, and our results speak for themselves. For the class of 2014, the high school graduation rate for JAG students was 97 percent, which is And the positive outcomes rate, which is kids who, uh, let me back up for a second. Part of the JAG program is that the teacher works with the kids for 12 months after they graduate high school. And then we do all our measurements 12 months after they graduate from high school. 12 months after the class of 2014 graduate, in other words, in June of 2015, 80, 8 percent of those students were either in college, had a job, or in the military. And 46% of them had completed one year of college. And to, to use a term of yours, Mayor Fisher, JAG is a possibility program. And I am really excited that we are bringing a possibility program to the possibility city of Louisville. Some of you may know that there was a recent Kentucky Chamber of Commerce study. Uh, they went out and they surveyed employers about youth employment. And the number one finding was that youth in Kentucky who go into the workforce 20, lack soft skills. They don't know how to behave in the workplace. They don't know how to address an employer. They don't know how to work together with, with coworkers. And their recommendation was that uh, the Kentucky Department of Education develop a K through 12 soft skills training program. Well, I'm here to tell you that JKG is a soft skills training program from sixth through 12th grade and is phenomenally successful nationwide, 1,000 schools, 47, 48,000 kids a year, a million students since our exception. So with that, what I'd like to do is introduce you to one of the graduates. Now, since we don't have any graduates here at Shawnee, given that the program started two days ago, <laughs> I've asked Matt Kaprowski from Jefferson High School in Indiana to come and talk about his experience. So Matt graduated in 2014. He has a phenomenal job with Ford Motor Company today, and I'm going to ask, you, ask him to tell a little bit about his experience. Thank you, Mr. Caruso. My name is Matthew Kaprowski. As Mr. Caruso said, I'm a recent Jeff High graduate. Um, I, I was in your seat, I was in those seats at one time. I didn't know what I was going to do. All I know is that I wanted to be successful. I wanted to live a comfy lifestyle, and JAG helped me do that. JAG teaches Soft skills, JAG teaches you how to walk and talk, literally. JAG is not your average class. JAG is not a class where you open up a book, you take a test, and you get a lecture from a teacher. No. Your JAG specialist, I don't know who or she is, but he or she will give you one-on-one -on -one time if you want it. JAG will create a platform for, for success if you want it. The rest is up to you. Okay, it's my turn to say thank you. <laughs> um, as Dr. Hargan said at the beginning of the program, I am Vanita Bimbo, the principal here at the Academy at Shawnee. And I would echo her comments that we have an incredibly dedicated staff of teachers and leaders here who truly believe in our students. I am convinced that the Jobs for Kentucky Graduates program is going to be another great asset for our students, and we all look forward to sharing with and learning from the JKG team. So thank you again, Sean, Larry, Janelle, 
um, for bringing the program here and for believing in our students as much as we do. I now would like to invite everyone to join us in observing a mock demonstration of a Jobs for America's Graduates Classroom lesson. So you can see firsthand the kinds of tools this program is giving our students to help them move successfully through graduation and beyond. Following that, we will all remain on site to take questions from media and other attendees.